Well, hello there, and welcome to the Looney Dooney Magic Show. Normally, I'm busy doing uh, online magic shows live for families and kids, but today I'm doing a special show just for you who are members of the Lincoln Military Housing family. Welcome aboard. Today is my special spring magic show. So I made a sign here that says Looney's Spring Magic Show. Uh, oh, wait a minute. You know what? We know... I tell you what, I'm just going to take the word show off because, of course, I am a show off. I hadn't even thought about that. But now it just says Looney Spring Magic. Well, without the show... It, all right, so we'll just do this. We'll do Looney's Spring... Uh, Looney's Spring, what does that mean? Okay, let's try this one more time. We're going to take Spring off, all right, and now it'll just be Looney's. I'm Looney. Um... You guys are loonies. All right, fine. Here we go. I like loonies. Loonies is good in my uh, book. Let's see what we can do. Kids, I want you to do me a favor. I know that you um, are sitting at home watching this. We're going to try this. I'm going to try folding everything in half. Now, I don't want this to leave the camera because I want you to see that it's still all the same. All right, so kids, would you do me a favor? I think I've messed this up, but I want you to help me. Would you just wave your fingers Wave your fingers, very good, and say abracadabra. Now, I'm not sure whether we did it or not. Let me just see. Sometimes it works and sometimes it doesn't work. Let me just check. Let's see here. I uh, oh, Wait a second. This does seem to be doing something different. Hold on just a second. Here, oh, take a look. It says, it says Lincoln Family Spring Show. That's right. Just for you guys. It's your show. It's your Lincoln Family Spring Show. Well, let's get started. All righty, now. One of the things I do as a as a entertainer is I teach other magicians how to do magic. As a matter of fact, I'm going to be having some live online magic classes and balloon classes and um, juggling classes too for bigger kids, you know. Um, but uh, anyway, what I want to do is teach you guys a magic trick. Would that be okay? Okay. So before I can teach you a magic trick, at the beginning of every magic book is what's called the magician's oath. And I'm going to teach you guys a trick. I have to find it here. But first, you have to take the magician's oath with me. Okay, so everybody raise your hand like this and repeat the words with me. Everybody say, I promise not to tell the secrets I learn here today to anybody else who hasn't taken this promise. And I also promise not to yell out the secrets if I see another magician doing a trick I know. Give yourself a big hand of applause. That was great. Unfortunately, you guys, I, I don't know if you noticed, but not all the moms and dads took the oath. Should we trust the moms and dads, you guys? I'm going to go ahead and trust them because as far as I'm concerned, they're pretty hot. You know what I mean? So, what? It is, it is a pretty good book, yeah. It's got magic. It's got juggling. The question was, can we trust the parents? That was my question. I'm not... Ah! I don't think I'm going to even touch that again. That kind of scared me. Did that scare you? Okay. So now I've got a counting trick. All right, and I want you guys to help me, but I'm going to teach you how it's done. Remember, okay, so there's one spot on this side, there's four spots on this side, there's three spots on this side, and there's six spots on this side. I know it's a little confusing, so let's count for the little kids, okay? There's one spot here. Everybody count. One. There's four spots here. One, two, three, four. There are three spots here. One, two, three. And then there are six spots here. One, two, three, four, five, six. Now, I bet there are some kids out there who think they saw what I was doing, right? Do you think so? All right, let's take a look. If I show you this, how do you, what do you think I'm hiding under my hand? 
a spot. That's right, I was hiding a spot. So every time, what do you think I'm hiding under this hand? A spot, that's right. What do you think I'm hiding under this hand? A spot. And what do you think I'm hiding under this hand? A spot. Well, that was close. I'm gonna tell you the truth, okay? I'm gonna tell you the secret. On this side, there is no spot. There's not four spots, and there's not six spots. There's really five. Let's count them. One, two, three, four, five. Is there really four? No. Is there really six? No. There's really five. Now, how many do you think there is on this side? Do you think it's one? Who thinks it's one? Raise your hand. Very good. Is there anybody who thinks two? Yeah. Now, I have to tell you, when I first started doing this, I was crazy, and I would hold my fingers like this. All right? That would be crazy, huh? And people would know that I wouldn't have six spots, right? How many spots do you think I have here? Yeah, there's five. That's right. There are five spots here. It, no, no, there's five. There's only five. Okay, there's not six. If there was six, what? Oh, wait a minute, I can see it. There is six there. One, two, three, four, five. Wait a minute, wasn't there five spots there just a second ago? Let me take it. There is six there, I can't believe that. Um, I thought there was only five spots there, if you know what I mean. They, oh, wait a minute, there are three there, wasn't there? You know what, I'm messing this trick up. I think you guys are seeing spots everywhere. You know what I mean? I can't even believe it. Ah, wait a second, how, how many spots are there? Let's count them. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. You guys are amazing. Give yourself a big hand of applause. That's amazing. but now it's time to do something completely different and I'm going to try to do it right under your nose. You notice I rolled up one sleeve. I'm going to roll up the other sleeve because I don't want you to think that I'm hiding it in my sleeves. All right. What I'm going to try to do is make this completely change colors right under your noses. You'll notice I have nothing in my left hand, nothing in my right hand. Here we go. One, two, three. Everybody say um, happy spring. Happy spring. Bing. Did you see it change colors? You didn't see. Oh, I'm sorry. Forgot to tell you, the top part doesn't change colors. It's the bottom part that changes colors just like that. Can you see it? Blue, green, green, blue. Now, the hard part is turning it all the way from green to blue while you guys are watching me so closely. I'm not sure if I'll be able to do it. I'll try. Wait a second. Are you clapping out there? That's pretty good. Okay, now I'm gonna to try to make it turn back to green, but you guys have to do it, okay? I don't know if you can reach it. If you can't reach it, just use your magic fingers, all right? What we're gonna do is turn it back from blue to green. What I want you to do is wave your magic fingers. If you can reach it, just tap my hand three times. One, two, three. All right, you got it? All right, I'm not sure. Here we go. Uh, it was green. I mean, it was green, then it turned blue. Now it's going to turn from blue back to what color? Green. Right. Okay, if you guys did it right. I'm sure you did. I felt really good about it. So here we go. Blue to green. Let's just take... No, I'm not sure. Let's just take... I'm not doing very well with this. This particular one... It, oh, wait a second. Hold on just a second. There is something, but it's not green. Um, oh, no. Oh, you guys wanted red. Okay, give yourself a big hand of applause. I like red too. All right, well, normally I would have a kid help me with this part. I would have a kid reach up and pull it so that they could turn it all the way into red. But since I don't have any kids here, I'm just gonna have to do it myself again. Pretty good. Okay, now comes the hard part. Have you guys ever heard of a magician called Houdini? Houdini used to do escape tricks. He was a very famous magician, and he would escape from places. 
Nothing here, nothing here. Here we go. What I'm going to do is I'm going to make Houdini escape from inside my hand. Okay, are you ready? Here we go. Stuffing, stuffing. He's going to go all the way in. And what I want you guys to do is count with me. Okay, up to 10. We'll give him 10 seconds. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. You're not clapping, or are you clapping? I hope you are. Now we're going to make him reappear. You guys ready? 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. You guys ready? Take your magic finger. Tap my hand three times if you can. All right, I'm not sure if you did it or not. Let's just see if... You guys did it! Give yourself a great big hand! You guys are good! Hello again! All right, well it's time for the next magic trick, but at first I wanted to let you know that, you know, I'm stuck at home just like you are. Uh, I can't go to like a big production studio to make this kind of video. I'm doing it here in my house. This is my office. This is Looney Dooney's workshop. Um, but, uh, you know, I just wanted to let you know that I'm just like you. I'm kind of stuck here, which is why doing these things online is, is a wonderful thing. Um, I tell you what, though, one of the things I am doing that's different is I'm ordering stuff online. I'm ordering magic tricks online. And I ordered this one. I got it in the mail, but I wasn't very happy with it. Um, when in the advertising, uh, it said a magic bag, just like Mary Poppins magic bag. And I have to tell you, this does not look like Mary Poppins magic bag. Uh, so at first I thought I would just send it back, but then I decided I would take it out and take a look at it. And I see, um, what it has to offer me. No, it's, it's not much different than a paper bag. Uh, so again, I really, I wasn't happy with it. So I thought I would send it back. You know how sometimes they advertise things and it's not how you like it? Uh, but then I thought, let's read the directions, okay? So when I read the directions, it said, do something kind of crazy, open the bag and make sure it's empty. Let me see here. I'm gonna open it as wide as I can. Can you guys see it in there? There we go. Make sure it's empty. And then what you want to do is you want to say a magic word. Everybody ready? Can you guys say a magic word with me? So everybody say, let's say abracadabra. Okay. One, two, three. Everybody ready? Say abracadabra. Okay. Did... Hey, I don't think the parents are saying it. All right, let's try it. One, two, three. Abracadabra. I'm not sure what... You guys did it! Give yourself a big hand of applause! I love that! All right, now the thing of it is, this is such a crazy trick because it's kind of like Mary Poppins' magic bag. You know that bag where she took out like a plant and she took out a, a hat rack? You can take more things over and over again out of this. Let's try it again. Let's all say abracadabra again. One, two, three, Abracadabra. Are you saying it with me? Yep. You know, I felt it. I felt it. Give yourself another big hand of applause. Very nice. Uh, I can't believe you guys are doing such a good job. Should we try it one more time? Let's try it one more time. You guys ready? One, two, three. Abracadabra. Now, wait a second. Didn't you guys say it? Oh, you guys did say it, huh? Oh, I know a word that works whenever my magic words never work. Let's all try saying please, okay? One, two, three, you guys ready? Please, oh please, oh please. You guys did it again. Give yourself another big hand of applause. I can't believe you guys did that. Now, the instruction said that I could go on forever. I could do this like 300 times, but we don't want to do that. You know, we have a lot to do, so I'm just going to set these down. Um, but we should try at least one more time. Um, it is kind of, you know, springtime. Let's say happy spring, since it's a spring show. Okay, you guys ready? One, two, three. Happy spring. I'm not sure what we did. Um, I, uh, I'm not sure what we did, but I have to tell you, I'm not sure if I want to touch it with a 10-foot pole. 
Holy moly, I wish I could show that all to you. You guys did such an amazing job. Give yourself a big hand of applause. Now we're going to try something really crazy, okay? I'm going to try to set a world record right here today with you guys. Um, I actually hold the old world record. Uh, it's 35.2 seconds, but I'm going to try to break it. I hope I can. Uh, what it is, it's the fastest balloon animal twisting behind your back, okay? I'm going to make an animal behind my back in hopefully less than 35.2 seconds. Now, when I did this, I did this with a dog, basic dog. I'm going to try to make it even tougher on myself because I'm going to try to do a bunny since it's summertime. I mean, since it's springtime, we're going to try to do it with a bunny. Okay, so I get to blow the balloon up first. Okay, very good. Now, what I'm going to do is I'm... Oh! Sorry. <laughs> we'll try this again. I uh, forgot. What did I forget to do? I forgot to tie. Very good. Let's try this again. Okay. Very nicely. Now, all right. Wait a second. Hold on. That's not quite it either. All right. Oh! I'm not doing very well. It's a good thing I'm not being timed on this yet. Let's try it one more time. All right, here we go. Okay, I think I got it. All right, now, in order to set the record, we need a stopwatch. Okay, here we go. Oop, pretty cool. All right, thank you. I have a helper here who's helping me out. I'm going to start the stopwatch. I'm going to try to beat 35.2 seconds. If I do, you guys better clap louder than you've clapped this whole show. Okay, are you guys ready? Here we go. Okay, all right, I'm gonna do this behind. Oops, I gotta go behind my back. I forgot about that part. Here we go. I'm not sure. I can hear myself squeaking. I am doing my best. All right, feel pretty good. I feel pretty good. All right, here we go. All right, no problem. I can do this. All right, and I am done. It's an Easter Bunny. Hey, I did it! <laughs> All right, I did it! Yay! 30.72 seconds. That's amazing. It's a good thing for the world record that you don't have to draw the face behind your back, too. Because I would be terrible at that part. You know, you know. <laughs> All right, well, hey, that was pretty fun. That was pretty fun, but now one of the things I love to do during springtime is I love to go fishing. Of course, I go fishing the magic way, uh, and I have a magic fish. His name's Fred. Can everybody say hi to Fred? Hi, Fred. Now, what he's gonna do is he's gonna turn alive. When we wave our hands and say abracadabra, Fred is gonna turn alive, and he's gonna swim up, across, and down the other side. Okay, so he starts off on the left side, and he winds up on the right side. So your job as an audience is to wave your hands like this and say abracadabra as loud as you can so that Fred can hear it, okay? All right, so let's try it just one time as loud as you can. One, two, three, abracadabra. Very good. Let's take a look. Hey, you guys did it. Give yourself a hand of applause. He switched sides. First he started off over here, and then he started off over there. That's just amazing. Now, we're going to bring him back, okay? But remember, you have to say it one more time as loud as you can. Abracadabra. 
One, two, three. Abracadabra. Here he goes. He's swimming. He's going across. I feel him. He's coming down. There he is. You guys are great. You guys are just great. Now, since you took the oath, a lot of kids think that I'm just turning him around. Okay, but I'm not. I'm not turning him around. All right, I'll prove it to you. All right, so everybody say abracadabra, and I will prove I'm not turning around. Which side is he on? Is he on the right side or the left side? He's on the left side. Okay, everybody say it. One, two, three. Abracadabra. Did I turn it around? No. Did I turn it around? Oh, you don't know. Did I turn it around? No, I didn't turn it around. See? I never turned it around. What can I say? I never turned it around, and you got... Okay, fine. Did you catch me that time? Yeah, you saw it, huh? Hmm. So what happens is, I try not to let the kids catch me on that part. Because if I do, what happens is, when I show them the thing... Oh, wait a second. I, uh... Did somebody say abracadabra to... You guys, you, you broke it. You can't put it in the middle, because if you put it in the middle, it, it breaks. Um, well, we have to try. We have to try to fix it. So I'm going to have a contest to see who's the strongest out there. Um, if you want it on the left side, say abracadabra left. If you want it on the right side, say abracadabra right. And we'll say it all at the same time and see whose is the strongest. Okay. So if you want it on the left, just say abracadabra left. If you want it on the right, say abracadabra right. But don't say abracadabra middle. I don't know who said that, but it totally messes me up. All right, let's try it. One, two, three, everybody say it. Abra, cadabra, left, right, middle. I'm not sure, because the thing of it is, these kids are good. The thing, you guys are really good. Give yourself a big hand of applause. How did you do that? Okay, hello again. Good to see you guys. Now we're going to do something really amazing. I think it's amazing because, man, this really just messes my head up. Um, have you ever tried to solve one of these Rubik's Cubes? These are one of the hardest things in the world to solve. Rubik's Cubes. All right, I'm going to close my eyes. I'm going to turn my head. I'm mixing these up. All right, until somebody out there yells stop. Will somebody out there please yell stop? Stop. Okay, right then. All right. Now, I'm not going to take this off the screen. I'm going to leave it on the screen. I am going to put it inside this empty black bag. All right. I'm going to put this inside the empty black bag, and I'm going to leave it right here where you guys can all see it. All right. Now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to take my Rubik's Cube, and I'm going to mix it up behind my back. Now, the thing of it is there are 48 quintillion different color combinations on a Rubik's Cube. And that means that the, a million times a million is a quintillion. So if uh, you have two Rubik's Cubes that have been mixed up, they're never supposed to match, or I guess one in 48 quintillion time. Um, but what I'm going to do is I'm going to, oh, okay, I feel good. I'm going to stop right there. When I bring this cube out from behind my back, this one in the bag and the one behind my back are going to be solved. You've seen this on screen the whole time. All right, ladies and gentlemen, two Rubik's Cubes in about 10 seconds or so mixed up. Are you ready? Here we go. Ladies and gentlemen, two cubes complete. Okay, I'm sorry. Okay, I'm not a miracle worker. All right. I didn't mean that they would be solved that way, where it'd be all red, all green, all blue. What I meant was that my cube was going to match the other cube. That's one side. That's two sides. That's three sides. That's four sides. Why aren't you guys clapping? All right, that's five sides. That's six sides. Pretty good, huh? Now, um... Here's the thing. I'm going to try to solve one of these. Now, the first one, you yelled stop, and uh, that's how we got to this place. I'm going to try to do this behind my back. 
I'm not sure if I can do it. I'm just planning my moves because I usually do it one-handed and I usually do it behind my back so that I can't see it. I think it would be pretty good if I could solve it. All right, we're going to try it. You can see. Now make sure I don't switch it with any different one. All right, you got it? Okay, here we go. Okay, now I'm starting. That's pretty good. That's pretty good. I feel good. I don't know. It's going to take me a few seconds. I'm not sure. Here we go. I'm doing pretty good. All right, I feel good. I feel good. I'm not quite there yet. Uh, I think, oh, I'm getting pretty close. I'm getting pretty close. Did I do it? <laughs> I did it. Are you clapping? <laughs> Alright, well it's been so much fun coming to you almost live from somewhere in suburban San Diego, California. Um, normally I get to see everybody live and in person out here in San Diego, but I just wanted to let you know that that is what I'm doing now, live uh, virtual performances via Zoom or any of the online apps. And uh, if you've got a birthday party coming up or uh, you've got a, an adult party where we do a game show, uh, you're welcome to give me a call and we'll set up something. And I'm even offering uh, families from Lincoln a special rate. So if you just let me know you're one of the Lincoln families, we'll hook you up. Okay? Now it's time for the grand finale. This is kind of scary. All right? It's kind of cool, but it's also kind of scary. All right? What I've got here is I've got a pen. Remember the fire book? Um, what I'm going to do is put some fire in this pan. Now, kids, remember, I am a professional, okay? I have a pyrotechnic license, so I know what I'm doing, all right? I, uh, since we're inside the house, I can only do up to three seconds worth of fire juice, all right? So I'm going to have you kids count with me. I'm going to have you count one hippopotamus, two hippopotamus, three hippopotamus, and we'll all count together, and that way we'll know exactly... Oh, no. Um... You know what? Something might go wrong. Uh, so I tell you what, if anything goes wrong, I want you to wave your hands and say abracadabra. Okay? Um, we'll do our best. All right? Here we go. Got a fire thingy here, a lighter thingy. What we're going to... Okay. You guys ready? Don't forget to say abracadabra. Okay. One, two... See, three weeks ago, the kids forgot to say abracadabra, and then I was in real trouble. Okay? So let's try it again. One, two... Many times I get so excited at this part of the show because it's kind of the grand finale. Okay, I apologize. Let's try it one more time. One, two, three. Ooh, wait a second. Um, that's not quite right. Everybody say abracadabra. Oh my goodness. Oh, oh wait a second. It's my bunny Trixie. Everybody should be clapping really loud now. Everybody give Trixie a big hand of applause. Yay, she's actually the star of my show. She is. No matter how good my show goes, whenever Trixie arrives, especially in springtime, you know what I mean? Um, thank you so much for coming, everybody. I had a wonderful time, and hopefully I'll see you online at your house. You never know. See you later.